on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death unto life, Holy Mother Church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together and to keep vigil, to watch and to pray. And if we thus devotedly observe the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity after this manner, hearkening to his holy word and celebrating his Easter mysteries, then shall we have the sure and certain hope of the sharing of his triumph over death and Satan and of living with him forever in God. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Son is bestowed upon Amen. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega. His are all times and all ages. To him be glory and dominion through all ages of eternity. by his holy and glorious wounds. May the light of Christ in glory rising scatter the darkness of our heart and mind. Almighty God, who art thyself unseen and yet renewest all things, shed forth upon this lighted candle the abundance of thy blessing. Make more splendid still the brightness of this night. May our offerings shine more radiantly through the presence of thy hidden glory. And may this light shine in our hearts to drive out the hidden deeds of darkness and make manifest the power of thy majesty through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
the light of Christ. Thanks be to The light of Christ. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Rejoice now, holy heavenly legions of angels. All high things that pass understanding. For the King that cometh with victory, let the trumpet proclaim salvation. Sing with joy of earth. Illuminated with his celestial radiancy, and enlightened by the eternal God, thy glory. Believe and know that thou hast put away the darkness of all mankind. So likewise, let our mother, his holy church, Welcome the bright beams of light shed upon her, and let his holy courts be filled with the praises of his people. I pray and beseech you, therefore, dearly beloved, that all ye who are here present seeking this heavenly brightness Make your supplication with me to the Almighty, that he would show forth his mercy toward me. That he, who in my unworthiness number me among his Levites, 
and call me to do him service. So also may thou save to lighten my darkness, making me meet to praise this gift of far with thankfulness. Through Jesus Christ, our Mediator and Redeemer, who liveth and reigneth with him and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is very meet right that with the service of our lips we should glorify and praise with heart and soul. God the Invisible and Almighty, and likewise his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, who paid for us to the Eternal Father the debt of Adam's transgression, and with his dear blood wiped away the reproach for the former offences. Now, therefore, we sacrifice our Passover, wherein for us the very Lamb of God is slain, by whose blood the doors of his faithful people are made holy. The night is come, wherein when our fathers, the children of Israel, were led forth out of Egypt, thou dividest the sea, and madest them to pass over on dry land. Yea, the night is come, that with a fiery pillar, hath purged away the darkness of our condemnation. The night is come, whereby all that believe in Christ upon the face of the earth, delivered from this wicked world and out of the shadow of death, are renewed unto grace, and are made partakers of eternal life. The night is come, wherein the bonds of death were loosed, and Christ, harrowing hell, rose again in triumph. For wherefore should man be born into this world? Say that being born, he might be redeemed. Ah, wonderful then, O God, in thy loving kindness unto us, thy children. Behold, what manner of love he hath bestowed upon us, who to redeem a servant delivered up his only Son. O wonderful providence of Adam's transgression, that by such a death sin might be done away. O blessed iniquity, from whose redemption such a price was paid by such a Saviour, O night verily blessed, to thee alone that time at that hour made manifest 
when our Saviour Christ rose again from death unto life. The night is come, whereof David said, Behold, the night is as clear as the day, then shall my night be turned into day. The mystery, therefore, of this most holy night put to flight the deeds of darkness, purgeth away sin, restoreth innocence to the fallen, and gladness unto them that mourn, casteth out hatred, bringeth peace to all mankind, and boweth down mighty princes. Therefore in this favourable time, accept, O Holy Father, this our evening sacrifice of incense, which as at this time thy holy church maketh before thee, and offereth to thee by the hands of thy servants. The work of the bees, my creatures. <coughs> Ye hear, brethren, the meaning of this pillar we have set up, whereunto God's honour the bright flame of our Father sets light, which, though it be never so much divided, Yet knoweth not variableness, nor loseth aught of its splendor. For the wax that melteth doth feed the flame, for thereunto have the creatures of God's hand brought it forth, that it should give light in darkness. O night verily blessed, which did spoil the people of Egypt and magnify the Hebrews. O night wherein heaven and earth are joined and mankind partaketh with the Godhead. We pray thee therefore, O most merciful, that this candle which we have lighted and consecrated before thee in thine own name may continue to shine forth without ceasing and may vanquish all the shades of darkness, that being accepted before thee a sweet savour, it may be numbered with the lights that thou hast kindled. May the day star find it burning when he dawneth into day. The day star that riseth and knoweth not his going down but coming forth from the places of darkness, <coughs> gladly giveth forth light unto all creation. We beseech thee therefore, O most merciful, that thou wouldest direct and guide thy servants and the hearts of all thy family and all those also that minister in thy service, especially Francis our Pope, and thy servant Keith our Ordinary, so helping us with thy continual grace, that we may pass our time in rest and quietness, in the glad solemnity of our redemption. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Mediator and Redeemer, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen.
Dear brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the, hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate on how God in past times saved his people, and in these, the last days, has sent us his Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 26 to 31. In the, be- in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Then God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the castle, and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food, and to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life. I have given every green plant for food, and it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. The word of the Lord.
Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created human nature and still more wonderfully redeemed it, grant, we pray, to set our minds against the enticements of sin, that we may merit to attain eternal joys through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, here I am, here am I. He said, take your son, your only begotten son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer it there as a burnt offering upon one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order. Then Abraham put forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. He said, Do not lay your hand on the lad or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only begotten son from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, behind him was a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your only begotten son, I will indeed bless you and I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore. And your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies, and by your descendants shall all the nations of the earth bless themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Supreme Father of the faithful, who increase the children of your promise by pouring out the grace of adoption throughout the whole world, and who through the Paschal mystery 
Make your servant Abraham father of the nations, as once you swore. Grant, we pray, that your peoples may enter worthily into the grace to which you call them through Christ our Lord. his hand over the sea and the sea returned to its usual flow when the morning appeared and the Egyptians fled into it and the Lord routed the Egyptians in the midst of the sea the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea not so much as one of them remained but the sons of Israel walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters being a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw the great work which the Lord did against the Egyptians, and the people feared the Lord, and they believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song to the Lord, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
let us pray. O God, who by the light of the New Testament have unlocked the meaning and wonders worked in former times, so that the Red Sea prefigures the sacred font, and the nation delivered from slavery foreshadows the Christian people. Grant, we pray, that all nations, obtaining the privilege of Israel by merit of faith, may be reborn by partaking of your Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Barak. Hear the commandments of life, O Israel. Give ear and learn wisdom. Why is it, O Israel, why is it that you are in the land of your enemies, that you are growing old in a foreign country, that you are defiled with the dead, that you are counted among those in Hades? You have forsaken the fountain of wisdom. If you had walked in the way of God, you would be dwelling in peace forever. Learn where there is wisdom, where there is strength, where there is understanding, that you may at the same time discern where there is length of days and life, where there is light for the eyes and peace. Who has found her place and who has entered her storehouses? But he who knows all things knows her. He found her by his understanding. He who prepared the earth for all time filled it with four-footed creatures. He who sends forth the light and it goes, called it and it obeyed him in fear. The stars shone in their watches and were glad. He called them. And they said, here we are. They shone with gladness for him who made them. This is our God. No other can be compared to him. He found the whole way to knowledge and gave her to Jacob his servant and to Israel whom he loved. Afterward, she appeared on earth and lived among men. She is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever. All who hold her fast will live and those who forsake her will die. Turn, O Jacob, and take her. Walk toward the shining of her light. Do not give your glory to another or your advantages to an alien people. Happy are we, O Israel, for we know what is pleasing to God. The word of the Lord. God. <clears throat> you have the message of eternal life, O Lord. You have the message of eternal life.
let us pray. O God, who cost increase your church by your call to the nations, grace you grant to those you wash clean in the waters of baptism, the assurance of your unfailing protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good. Mm-hmm. 
The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, who dost illumine this most holy night with the glory of the resurrection of the Lord, stir up, we pray thee, in thy church the spirit of adoption which thou hast given, that we, being regenerate both in body and soul, may render unto thee a pure service through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. The reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, All of us who have been baptised into Christ Jesus were baptised into his death. We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our former man was crucified with him so that the sinful body might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For he who has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. For we know that Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Will you please stand? Alleluia. 
thy spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory be to thee, O Lord. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb when the sun had risen. And they were saying to one another, who will roll the stone away for us from the door of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone was rolled back, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a white robe. And they were amazed. And he said to them, do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen, he's not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. It is not so long ago that we came here to be participants of the Lord's Passion. And if I can just for a moment reflect on that God created us and loves us and that he made us in his own image. Not as someone would say that of course they like the God that they make in their image. And maybe one of the things that always moves me when I walk the stations of the cross is that once Jesus has died there are people there people have courage as I most probably tell you time and time again and of course let's not have a go at the Romans this often happens especially when there are oppressive regimes. But once the leader has been killed, those who followed him are not safe. And so isn't it extraordinary that Jesus is taken down from the cross and there are witnesses and not only are they witnesses, but they are extravagant. And of course, in our gospel of tonight, and if you think of the Passion, Jesus was laid in a very expensive tomb, an extraordinarily expensive tomb that no one else had ever laid. It was the custom when someone died, often to put more and more people in until they were but bones and then the bones were taken. But Jesus was given his own tomb and they wrapped him in wonderful care and love. And despite being frightened, they were there and continued to be there even on the first day of the week. They might have got away with it on the holy day. But on the first day of the week, that most probably is when they were going to come. And remember time and time again as we celebrate the resurrection, there are his closest with the doors shut for fear. 
but there are some who have courage. And of course, Mary Magdalene. Mary, the mother of James and Salome, and of course we know Peter and John. They're there. And they get to witness. They get to witness the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We live in a fallen world. May we have courage and rejoice in the resurrection. Jesus has shown us the way to live. Not only to live in this world, but to live in a perfect relationship with the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. He will, and the Father and the Holy Spirit, make sure that in 50 days we will be given Pentecost, when, as it were, the church got their fire in their belly to not only have moments of courage, but to have courage. And on this day, when we say Alleluia again, when we sing it, when we praise God that his son died for us and rose again, May it change our lives as it will change the life of one who comes for baptism this evening. When the rest of the world thought that was it, from the side of Christ, as prophesied by Ezekiel and that great joy of the water coming out, of flowing from the temple, and of course we will hear that when the Vide Aquam is sung. There is the life-giving gift of baptism. And of course we come to celebrate the Mass, which is not a Mass about death, but about sacrifice and resurrection. May we pray not only for this man who has courage to be baptised in a very strange world, but also pray for all those who are baptised this Easter, that they may have courage and we may have courage, that we may have the generosity in our hearts as those first disciples frightened as they were because Christ is all that he said he was. Christ is not was, but is because Christ is risen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. What do you desire of God's holy church? Baptism. Dearly beloved, seeing that God willeth all men to be saved from the sinful nature which they inherit, as well as from the actual sins which they commit, and that our Saviour Christ saith, none can enter into the kingdom of God except he be regenerate and born anew of water and of the Holy Spirit. I beseech you, to call upon God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ, that of his bounteous mercy he will grant to this man that which by nature he cannot have, 
that he may be baptized with water and the Holy Spirit and received into Christ's holy church and be made a living member of the same. Let us pray. Almighty immortal God, the aid of all who need, the helper of all who flee to thee for succour, the life of those who believe, and the resurrection of the dead, we call upon thee for this thy servant, that he, coming to thy holy baptism, may receive remission of his sins by spiritual regeneration, and being received into thy holy church, may live steadfast in faith, joyful through hope, and rooted in charity. Receive him, O Lord, as thou hast promised by thy well-beloved Son, saying, Ask, and ye shall have. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. So give now unto those who ask. Let us who seek find. Open the gate unto us who knock, that this thy servant may enjoy the everlasting benediction of thy heavenly washing and may come to the eternal kingdom which thou hast promised by Christ our Lord. Amen. And so I ask his name. Jethro James Joseph. We receive this man, Jethro James Joseph, into the congregation of Christ's flock, and do sign him with the sign of the cross, in token that hereafter he shall not be ashamed to confess the faith of Christ crucified, and valiant to fight under his banner against sin, the world, and the devil, and to continue as Christ's faithful soldier and servant until his life end. Amen. Receive the salt of wisdom. May it be unto thee a pledge of everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, Heavenly Father, we give thee humble thanks that thou hast vouchsafed to call us to the knowledge of thy grace and faith in thee. Increase the knowledge and confirm this faith in us evermore. Give thy Holy Spirit to this thy servant, that he may be born again and be made an heir of everlasting salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the same Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Well, beloved, you have come hither desiring to receive holy baptism. We have prayed that our Lord Jesus Christ would vouchsafe to receive you, to release you from your sins, to sanctify you with the Holy Spirit, to give you the kingdom of heaven and everlasting life. Do you renounce the devil and all his works, the vain pomp and glory of the world, with all covetous desires of the same, and the sinful desires of the flesh, so that thou wilt not follow, nor be led by them. I renounce them all, and by God's help will endeavour not to follow nor be led by them. I anoint thee with the oil of salvation in Christ Jesus our Lord that thou mayest have eternal life. Dear brethren, as the candidate for holy baptism approaches the waters of regeneration, each to be, for him to become a member of Christ, the child of God, an inheritor of the kingdom of heaven. Let us assist him with our prayers and supplications, 
to God the Father who made him and all the world, to God the Son who redeemed him and all mankind, and to God the Holy Spirit who sanctifieth him and all the people of God, that so among the sundry and manifold changes of the world, his heart may surely there be fixed where true joys are to be found in eternal life with the holy and indivisible Trinity. Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy upon us. O God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy upon us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy upon us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Holy Michael, pray for us. Holy Gabriel, pray for us. Holy Raphael, pray for us. Holy Holy Angels and Archangels, pray for us. Holy Holy Orders of Blessed Spirits, Holy John the Baptist, pray for us. Holy Joseph, pray for us. Holy Holy Patriarchs and Prophets, pray for us. Holy Peter, pray for us. Holy Paul, pray for us. Holy Andrew, Holy James, pray for us. Holy John, pray for us. Holy, holy apostles and evangelists, pray for us. Holy, holy disciples of the Lord, pray for us. Holy Stephen, pray for us. Holy Lawrence, Pray for us. Holy Vincent, pray for us. Holy Cuthbert Main, pray for us. Holy Holy Martyrs, pray for us. Holy Sylvester, pray for us. Holy Gregory, pray for us. Holy Augustine, pray for us. Holy, holy bishops and confessors, pray for us. Holy, holy doctors, pray for us. Holy Anthony, pray for us. Holy Benedict, pray for us. Holy Bernard, pray for us. Holy Dominic, pray for us. Holy Francis, pray for us. Holy, holy priests and Levites, pray for us. Holy, holy monks and hermits, pray for us. <coughs> holy, holy.
Holy Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Holy Perpetua and Holy Felicitas. Pray for us. Holy Agnes. Pray for us. Holy Cecilia. Pray for us. Holy Catherine. Pray for us. Holy Teresa. Pray for us. Holy Ethelreda. Pray for us. All ye holy virgins and widows. Pray for us. All ye holy saints of God. Pray for us. Lord be merciful. Lord save our people from all evil. Lord save our people from every sin. Lord save thy people from everlasting death. Lord save thy people by the coming as man. Lord save thy people by the death and the rising to life. Lord save thy by the gift of the Holy Spirit, Lord, save thy people. Be merciful to our sinners, Lord, save thy people. Give new life to those chosen ones by the grace of baptism, Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. O Christ, hear us. Almighty and everlasting God, mercy, look upon the devout prayers of thy servants now seeking regeneration. And design the fountain of thy waters, even as the heart desireth the water brooks. And of thy goodness grant that they who thirst after thy faith may in this mystery of thy holy baptism obtain sanctification both of body and soul. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, assist we pray. This mystery of and sacrament of thine infinite loving kindness and for the regeneration of these, this person seeking to be born again in the waters of baptism. Send forth upon him the spirit of adoption, that this office and ministry of us, thy unworthy servant, may effectually be fulfilled in him by thy mighty power. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Do move closer, if you'd like. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and abundant duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee. 
O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, who by thy invisible power dost wondrously give effect to the work of thy sacraments, and though we be unworthy to perform the mysteries so great, Yet thou dost not leave us destitute for the gifts of thy grace. But mercifully inclinest thine ears, even unto these our supplications. O God, whose Spirit in the first beginning of the world moved over the waters, that even the nature of water might conceive the virtue of sanctification. O God, who did wash away in the wars the iniquities of a sinful world, and is even in the outpouring of the flood, show forth in a figure our regeneration, that by the mystery of the same element there should be an end to sin, and likewise a beginning of virtue. Look, O Lord, upon the face of thy church, and multiply in her of thy regeneration. For thou dost by the streams of thine abundant grace make glad the city that openest the fountain of baptism throughout the whole world for the renewing of the nations. That by the command of thy majesty she may receive the Holy Spirit, the grace of thine only begotten Son. May he, by the secret mingling of his divine power, make fruit for the water prepared for regeneration of mankind, that having received sanctification and being a born again a new creature, there may come forth an offspring of heaven from the spotless womb of this divine fountain, that all, whether male or female, young or old, may alike be brought forth into one childhood by grace their mother. For hence, O Lord, at thy command, let every unclean spirit depart. For hence be all the wickedness of the craft of the devil, let no power of the enemy have here place or portion. Let it not instare and compass us around. Let it not attack us in secret. Let it not taint us with corruption. May this holy and devout creature be free from every sort of the enemy and purified by the departure of all iniquity. May it be a living fountain, water that doth regenerate, a purifying stream, that all who here shall be washed in this lover of salvation may, by the operation of the Holy Spirit within them, obtain the grace of pure, perfect purification. Wherefore I bless thee, O creature of water, by the living God, by the true God, by the holy God, by God who in the beginning through his word divided thee from dry land, and whose spirit moved upon thee, who made thee to flow from the fountain of paradise, and commanded thee to water the whole earth with thy four rivers, who in the desert bestowed upon thee sweetness when thou wast bitter, that men may drink and bring brought thee forth from the rock for the thirsting people. I bless thee also by Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who in Cana of Galilee, by a wondrous miracle, did change thee through the power into wine, who walkest upon thee with his feet, and was baptized by thee by John in the Jordan, who brought thee forth together with blood from his side, 
and commanded his disciples that believing they should be baptized in the saying, Go ye, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy, Holy Spirit descend upon the fullness of this font. May the power of the Holy Spirit descend upon the fullness of this font. May the power of the Holy Spirit descend upon the fullness of this font. Almighty God, mercy assist our prayers and keep these thy commandments. Gracie, breathe thou upon us. Bless with thy word and power this element of water that as by nature it hath been to cleanse and wash the body, we also may be effectual for the purifying of the soul. And make the whole substance of this water to be fruitful unto regeneration. Here may the stains of every sin be blotted out. Here may nature created in the hind image be restored to the honour of its first estate and cleansed from the little defilement of its old condition that every man who cometh to this sacrament of regeneration may be born again unto the new children of innocence through Jesus Christ our Son, our Lord, who shall come to judge the quick and the dead and the world by fire. Amen. Dearly beloved brethren, on this most holy night, our Holy Mother, the Church, calling to mind the death and burial of our Lord Jesus Christ, rendereth unto him love for love, and hath kept vigil, awaiting his glorious resurrection, now rejoicing with great gladness. But since, as the Apostle teacheth us, we have been buried with Christ by baptism into his death, so like as Christ was raised up from the dead, we too should walk in newness of life, knowing this, that our old nature is crucified with him, that henceforth we should not serve sin, let us reckon ourselves therefore to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Wherefore, dearly beloved brethren, now that our Lenten exercises are over, let us renew the promises made in holy baptism, whereby we once renounced Satan and all his works, and likewise the world which is the enemy of God, and promise to serve God faithfully in his holy Catholic Church. Therefore, I ask you all, do you renounce the devil and all his works, the vain pomp and glory of the world, with all covetous desires of the same and the sinful desires of the flesh, so that you do, will not follow nor be led by them? I do. Let us, with this man, to be baptised, 
recite the articles of belief. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitting on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last thing. Amen. Will you endeavour to keep God's holy will and commandments and walk in the same all the days of your life? I will, God be my helper. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath regenerated us by water and the Holy Spirit, and has given unto us forgiveness of all our sins, himself guard us by his grace unto everlasting life, in the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Do you profess this faith? I do. Do you desire to be baptised in this faith? That is my desire. Will you endeavour to keep God's holy will and commandments and walk in the same all the days of your life? I will, God being my helper. O merciful God, grant that, like as Christ died and rose again, so this thy servant may die to sin and rise to newness of life. Amen. Amen. O Lord of hosts, before the might of whose presence the armies of evil are put to flight, deliver this thy servant from the power of Satan. Amen. Amen. Grant that all sinful desires may die to him, and that all things belonging to the Spirit may live and grow in him. Amen. Amen. Grant that he may have power and strength to have victory and to triumph against the devil, the world, and the flesh. Amen. Grant that whosoever is here dedicated to thee by our office and ministry may be endued with heavenly virtues and everlastingly rewarded through thy mercy. O blessed God, who dost live and govern all things, world without end. Amen. Amen. Name this man. Jethro Joseph. Jethro James Joseph, I baptise you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We give this white vesture for a token of the innocency bestowed upon thee, and as a sign whereby thou art admonished to give thyself to pureness of living, that after this transitory life thou mayest be partaker of the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Receive the light of Christ, that when the bridegroom cometh, thou mayest go forth with all the saints to meet him, and see that thou keep the grace of thy baptism. Amen. Amen. May God, who hath received thee by baptism into his holy church, pour upon thee the riches of his grace, that with the company of Christ, pilgrim people, thou mayest daily be renewed by his anointing spirit, and come to the inheritance 
of the saints in glory. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Blessed heaven and earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry go unto thee. Dearly beloved, by holy baptism, God our Father gave this, his adopted son, new birth to eternal life. Let us therefore pray to pour out upon him the Holy Spirit to strengthen him in his faith, and to anoint him that he may be more like Christ, the Son of God, that he may continue his forever and daily increase in the Holy Spirit more and more until he come unto God's everlasting kingdom. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has brought this thy servant to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing him from sin, send upon him, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Give him the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill him with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jethro, James, Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Defend, O Lord, this thy servant with thy heavenly grace, that he may continue thine forever, and daily increase in thy Holy Spirit more and more, until he come unto an everlasting kingdom. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with thy spirit. <laughs> Seeing now, dearly beloved brethren, that this man is regenerous and grafted into the body of Christ's church, by baptism and the seal of the Holy Spirit, 
Let us give thanks unto Almighty God for these benefits, and with one accord make our prayers unto him, that this man may lead the rest of his life according to this beginning. Yeah. 
Yours may be accepted to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of thy hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the glory of his holy church. We beseech, O Lord, mercy, accept the prayers and oblations of thy people, that this beginning of thy paschal mysteries may by the operation of thy grace be unto us a wholesome medicine unto everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. But chiefly are we bound to praise thee for the glorious resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the very Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and hath taken away the sin of the world. By his death he hath destroyed death and by his rising to life again hath won for us everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we, Lord, and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Therefore, most merciful Father, we humbly pray thee through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. And we ask that accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices. We offer unto thee first for thy holy Catholic Church, that thou vouchsafe safe to keep her in peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with thy servant, Francis our Pope, Keith our Ordinary, and all the faithful guardians of the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, O Lord, thy servants and handmaids, and all who here around us stand, whose faith is known unto thee, and their steadfast is manifest, on whose behalf we offer unto thee, or who themselves offer unto thee, this sacrifice of praise, for themselves, for all who are theirs, for redemption of their souls, for the hope of their health and well-being, and offer their prayers unto thee, the eternal God, the living and the true. United in one communion, we celebrate the most sacred night of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the flesh. We venerate, moreover, the memory of first of the glorious ever Virgin Mary, mother of, of the same God and Lord Jesus Christ, of blessed Joseph, her spouses, also of thy blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Thaddeus. Linus, Clatus, Clement, Sisters, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Cosogenus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and of all thy saints, grant that by their merits and prayers we may in all things be defended with the help of thy protection. 
We beseech thee then, O Lord, graciously to accept the oblation from us, thy servants, and from thy whole family. We present it unto thee on behalf also of those whom thou hast felt safe to regenerate by water and the Holy Spirit, granting unto them remission of all their sins. Order thou our days in thy peace, and bid us be delivered from eternal damnation, and to be numbered with the fold of thine elect. Thou safe, O God, we beseech thee in all things to make this oblation blessed, approved, and accepted, a perfect and worthy offering, that it may become for us the body and blood of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who the day before he suffered took bread into his holy and venerable hands, with eyes lifted up to heaven unto thee, God, his almighty Father, giving thanks to thee, he blessed, broke, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Likewise, after supper, taking also this goodly chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to thee, he blessed and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Story of faith. When we eat his bread and drink his cup, we proclaim thy death, O Lord, until thou come again. Wherefore, o Lord, we thy servants and thy holy people also, remember the blessed passion of the same Christ, thy Son, our Lord, as also his resurrection from the dead and his glorious ascension into heaven. To offer unto thine excellent majesty of thine own gifts and bounty, the pure victim, the holy victim, the immaculate victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Vouch safe to look upon them with a merciful and pleasant countenance, and to accept them even as thou didst vouch safe to accept the gifts of thy servant Abel the righteous, and the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and the holy sacrifice, the immaculate victim, which thy high priest Melchizedek offered unto thee. We humbly beseech you, Almighty God, command these offerings to be brought by the hands of thy holy angel to thine altar on high, in sight of thy divine majesty, that all we who at this partake of the altar shall receive the most sacred body and blood of thy Son, may be fulfilled the heavenly benediction and grace. Remember also, Lord, thy servants and handmaids, who have gone before a seal with a seal of faith, and who sleep the sleep of peace. To them, O Lord, and to all that rest in Christ, grant us the abode of refreshing, of light, and of peace. To us, sinners also, thy servants, who hope in the multitude of thy mercies, without say to grant some part and fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellanus, Peter, Felicitas, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and with all thy saints. Within whose fellowship we beseech thee, admit us not weighing our merit, but granting us forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom, O Lord, thou hast ever created all these good things, to sanctify, quicken, bless, and bestow them upon us. My whom and with whom and in whom, to thee, O Father Almighty, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be honour and glory throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. 
As our Saviour Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we beseech you from all evils past, present, and to come. And at the intercession of the blessed and glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with thy blessed apostles Peter and Paul, and with Andrew and all the saints, favour we grant peace in our days, that by the help of thine availing mercy, we may ever both be free from sin and safe from all distress. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to thine apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of thy church, and grant her peace and unity according to thy will. Who livest and reignest with the Father and Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy. Thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Christ. 
Christ, a Passover, its sacrifice for us. Alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee for the allowed us feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and us to assure us thereby of thy favour and goodness towards us, and that we are brave members incorporate in the mystical body of thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom, by the merits of the most precious death and passion of thy dear Son. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship, and all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Spirit, your honour and glory, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. We beseech, O Lord, pour into our hearts the love of thy Holy Spirit, that as thou hast now fulfilled us with this Paschal Sacrament, so thou wouldest make us to continue in all godly concord, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Now I wish you with Father Colin a very happy, joyous, blessed, and peaceful Easter. And please continue to pray for all those who are baptised and pray for the peace of the world. Amen. Go forth in peace, Alleluia, Alleluia.